Yeah. I'm never working with ice cream again. Seriously, ice cream all over the place. It's melting everywhere. I don't like it. Hey, cheap bitches, welcome back to Chew On This, and let's get right into what I'm eating today. And today I'm eating crepes, or clips, like the French say. I don't really know if they say it like that, but whatever. I have a blackberry crepe and a strawberry crepe. I added a little bit of powdered sugar, and I do have to admit that I slaved over the stove for this one and made it myself, so I have to give myself props. And if you think that these look good and maybe you want to know how to make them, uh, let me know in the comments below, and maybe I'll do a tutorial on them. I also bought a vanilla Frosty because I wanted a little ice cream on the side. The only reason I bought a Frosty and not a gallon of ice cream is because I didn't want it sitting in my refrigerator because I will eat that the whole whole week so I'm trying to be good so just got a portioned size and then to top it all off I'm adding a little bit of maple syrup oh my god this is like sweet heaven dream here for a drink I was going to try to go with the theme and do a milkshake but I thought that was just way too many calories so I decided on plain old water I know it's a little boring but we have to draw the line somewhere so I'm going to try the Blue, not blueberry, I keep saying blueberry, blackberry crepe. I'm gonna dip it into a little ice cream. I lost a blackberry. See the deliciousness? See? Oh my god, that is so good. I thought that the blackberries would be a little bitter, but they actually sweetened up with the ice cream and the syrup and all that, so. I'm impressed. I'm a good cook. Hey, I'm just good at breakfast foods, not really anything else. <laughs> Strawberry crepe. Mmm. That is just like my favorite thing in the world. I posted a, a picture of one of my crepes on Instagram, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might want to go do that, because then you get to see pictures of yummy food that I make. Filming this has been a little tough. I was working with ice cream, so I had to take the ice cream off the plate and put it back on and it's still melting. Oh my goodness, it's all over the place. <laughs> I'm so sticky, I'm so sticky. I don't know if you guys know in commercials, they like use fake stuff like to replace foods and ice cream. So like ice cream isn't really ice cream on like a commercial or a picture. It's really like shortening or something like that. It's really interesting. Oh my God, this is amazing. I'm kind of shoveling it in my mouth. I should probably chill out. I'm gonna have one more bite, and then we're gonna get on to topic. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Anyway, now on to our topic, and because we're eating like a breakfasty, brunchy food, I figure let's talk about a topic that has to do with mornings or waking up, right? I don't know, whatever. So I wanted to talk about weird dreams. We all have them. Most of our dreams are just strange in general, and it always makes sense in your dream, but when you wake up, you're like, that was... I personally have a recurring dream, and it's not like the same exact dream that I have every time. It's just like a similar pattern of dreams where I'm driving or I have people in the car with me and I lose control of the car. Usually it just starts off with me driving and then it just, I'm going too fast and I can't stop. Like I can't stop myself. Like my foot is just not moving to the brake. It just keeps going on the gas. And then all of a sudden I'll be driving on a bridge. I'll just like lose control of the car and the car just like flies off the bridge. It's so morbid. It's not, it's not a happy dream. People say that your dreams mean stuff and I'm sure it means something. I don't know what it means. Probably that maybe I'm a little stressed out and I feel like life is out of control a little bit. My worst fear in general, like in life, is like losing control of the car, going too fast and like veering off the road. But that is one that I have quite often. I also remembered my dream from last night, actually. Mm, I don't want to let my crepe go to waste. <laughs> the dream I had last night was that I was in grammar school again. Is grammar school elementary school? Is that what it's called? People call it different things. Whatever. Get over it. I was older, but for some reason, I needed to get like a book report from the school that I used to go to. I like went in like a big truck, which I don't even own a truck and I don't know why I had a truck in the dream, but I had a truck, I drove to the school and I went to the back of the school and literally the first door that I tried to open was opened and I was like, okay. And I drove my truck into the school and I was driving into like the gymnasium part, but I wasn't driving it though. I was walking it 
it was like I was pushing it and steering it, but walking it. <laughs> That's so weird. Why would you bring your car into a building? That's when dreams just, you wake up and realize they don't make any sense. It's kind of empty, but the lights are on, and I'm like, hello, hello. And then I see a janitor, and it's Dave Couillé from Full House. <laughs> It's Uncle Joey from Full House, if you don't know who that is. He was the janitor of the school. I was like, man, times are hard, buddy. And I didn't even ask him for anything yet, and he, like, pulled out this box and had, like, folders with my name on it. There was a whole bunch of different things in there. I don't know if the book report was in there, but it was just, like, things that I did when I was, like, in fifth grade, like, art projects and stuff like that. I just thought it was really interesting. Ooh, the blackberries have seeds. They kind of hit my teeth the weird way. I don't like that feeling. I don't remember a lot of my dreams, but I do remember the significant ones that really like scared the shit out of me. I hate those dreams though where you wake up and your heart is like pounding out of your chest and you really think that it's happening and you wake up and you, you're like, oh my God, thank God it was just a dream. Don't scare the shit out of me. Do you guys ever have dreams like that? Are you ever in a dream where you know it's a dream and you're like, hey, wait, this is a dream, you're sleeping. So just relax and have fun with it. I'll be like, I want superpowers. So I just like end up flying or do something crazy. Yeah, those are the fun ones when you can control the dream. I also sometimes, and I know that this is getting a little bit more, I don't know, deep. <laughs> I also sometimes have dreams about people who have passed away. And they say, when you have dreams about that, that you're really talking to them or they're really coming to you. And I'll tell you a little bit of a creepy story. So the other night, I was sleeping, and I had a dream about Jenny, Jennifer Cooper. Some of you guys know, she's my friend on YouTube who passed away recently. I dreamt of her just randomly in my dream. I don't even really remember what I dreamt. I just know that I dreamt something with her in it. And I woke up and my lamp was on. The only thing is, is that I wasn't very surprised about that because this has actually happened to me a few times already right after Jenny's passing. I would, you know, go to sleep and I maybe had, maybe said a few words to Jenny in my mind or something like that and I would wake up the next morning and I would have the light on. I kind of chucked it up to, okay, Jenny had told me when she passes, she wants to be a ghost and she wants to play tricks on people. So I kind of figured, I was like, okay, she's playing tricks on me. I don't know, I believed it, but like, you know, you kind of half believe it because you're like, well, maybe it's just the lamp, maybe something's wrong with it, you know? I said, if this is real, turn Mike's lamp on in his apartment. A few days later, Mike tells me, oh my God, the weirdest thing happened. We were in the living room and the lamp went off and then went back on again. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, that was Jenny, she came to, she came to you, it's really true. And I mean, that's so random that that would happen to the exact person that I said it to. So that's how I kind of knew, for me that was a sign that Jenny was still around. It just made me feel like happy that she can still kind of hear me. I know that she's having fun with me because she's playing pranks on me. You know I'm scared of that stuff, Jen. I am basically done with this crepe. I have like one more bite. You want me to take it on camera? Mmm. Well, it looks like it's time to go because I'm done with my food, so make sure that you comment down below and subscribe to my channel and hit that little alarm button so you know when my videos come out because I make videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays and you don't want to miss one because you may miss the delicious food that I'm eating. Don't you want to know what I'm eating? Anyway, guys, bye.